What's up, guys? My Vernon Kidder coming to you again. How's everybody doing out there? Uh, well, I gave you guys, um, basically, I talked about the second wave of the DC-52 coming. And I talked about what books out of those titles that I would probably take up after, since two of the titles I'm currently reading is going to be canceled after eight issues. Uh, Static and... Mr. Mr. T. Basically, I said I was definitely going to pick up a Earth 2 because that's where the JSA is going to be, and I need my JSA and World's Finest because we're getting a, the return of Power Girl and Huntress. Big fans of those two ladies. Uh, I'm not going to talk about them because that's. I'll talk about them. Somebody asked me that on my uh, for a question for my Q and A. My Q and A will be back. Uh, February 29th uh, on my other channel so just to let you guys know <laughs> gotta plug my channels people sorry um, but I'm here to talk my thoughts on the other book that I want I'm definitely gonna pick up DC is bringing us another team called the Ravengers and here's pretty much the lineup right here now this book is gonna be is this book kind of contemplates What's going to happen later on in Teen Titans, uh, Superboy, and Legion Lost. Now, granted, I'm only reading Teen Titans. And so it's going to continue. It starts off in Teen Titans Annual number 1. And goes into Superboy number 9. And Legion Lost. And then in on May 30th, this book will come out. Uh, the Ravengers. And it's all about basically this team of heroes. Or... This team basically uh, running from nowhere. Uh, the, the group that's been pretty much that created Superboy and all those. And as you know, it's being written by Howard Mankey and artwork is being done by Ian Churchill. So this is this the first issue of this series is going to be a direct sp uh, spinning directly out of the, the story arc called the, the Culling. Now, this team looks very interesting. Why? Because uh, some of them are classic, and some of them, one of them is new, and but one of them, I am a little surprised at. Okay, so, as you can see in the picture, guys, we have Fairchild is going to be lead, looks like she's going to be the leader of this team. Now, Fairchild has been seen in Superboy and things like that, and you can see she's all... She's showing off her muscle, her jacked up, you know, her, she can basically increase her muscle density and things like that. Uh, looks cool. All right. Now, and then we have Thunder and Lightning are back. But instead of being brothers, they're brother and sister. Now, forget the Tron uh, costumes right there because for they say this is not the final cover art. But, yeah, as you can see, the two, there's Thunder next to... I guess Fairchild's, that's her, 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 uh, her right, your left, my right, and, uh, Lightning is in the back. Thank you. And then you have, um, Terra. Terra's coming back. She's the one right in the middle between Thunder and Lightning. And then there's this new guy, this monstrous guy called Ridge in the back. He's that big salamander serpent looking dude and then everybody here's the 52 revamp version of beast boy yeah beast boy is back in this new 52 universe and gone is his traditional green skin now it's a red a reddish color and i definitely wanted to know how everybody feel about that um my thoughts on this team so far looks interesting they're going to be pursued by Rose Wilson and, get this guys, Warblade. I was a little disappointed at this, hearing that Warblade is going to be a bad guy. Warblade was one of my, of uh, out of the Wildcats, he was probably my third favorite of the Wildcats, along with Zealot and Grifter. So Warblade now is going to be chasing after these these six individuals uh, they want them dead at any cost. 
Now they, they, they talk about that uh, no one's survival is certain each month in this book. Uh, I wonder why they're called the Ravengers, but they do, they both, they all contemplate that they were probably abducted by nowhere and tested on like nowhere has been doing, grabbing up teenage metahumans and things like that. Uh, so my guess is basically Fairchild saw her, saw her, saw the light and was like, you know, enough of this. I can't stand here and let these people do this no more, so I'm going to take action. And this was another book that, this is one of them that I am interested in. I'm, I'm definitely going to pick up in May. Uh, like I said, because of DC letting go of Mr. T and Static, I am looking for a, another team book. And hey, this is good for me. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out. I mean, just be... Other than the fact that Beast Boy is back, but the fact that they brought Terra back and Thunder and Lightning are now brother and sister instead of brothers, that's interesting. And I've always been a big fan of Fairchild ever since Gen 13. So I'm definitely looking forward to this along with World's Finest, Power Girl and Huntress and Earth 2. But like I said, overall, this looks good. Um... I'm interested in this. I, I really want to see where they're going to take this and who's going to live and who's going to die. That's what they keep saying. Nobody's, nobody's survival is certain. Uh, but sometimes they say that stuff just to get you into the book. Uh, you know, basically. So, But other than that, it, it does look good. Um, the artwork looks pretty good. I'm, most of the characters, I know that they may have changed them a little bit, but that Ridge dude... I have, I am. He must be a new character, and we'll just. I'm, I'm hoping to see what they do with the characters, and uh, see Rose Wilson and Warblade chase these, chase them, the Ravengers around. Uh, but I, I think it looks great. You know, even though you know, I think they, sh the next wave. Personally, with me, they should have brought back more characters we know of instead of bringing back, bringing new versions of the characters, and I'm not just talking about in this book, I'm just talking about DC for the next wave, they should have brought more characters that we know about, like you know, god, I mean when are they going to bring back the Spectre and Phantom Stranger and people like that, you know, I hear Lobo's coming back soon, he's going to be in um, Deathstroke's book you know, things like that, but as for the Ravengers May 30th I'll be there, so you will definitely see me review this book on my comic review. Uh, definitely, most definitely. But I, I've rambled on long enough, guys, about my thoughts on the Ravengers. Like I said, you want to know how I feel about Power Girl's new outfit, everything like that. Stay tuned February 29th on my other channel, Mom Vernon Kid Real Talk, to find out for my Q&A. Uh, the, uh, questions are still available. You still can ask me questions. I have not closed it yet, but other than that, guys, thanks for listening. And this is Monitoring Kid. You guys take care.